We begin this week on a launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, where not a whole lot happened. A Russian Soyuz rocket was to carry a three-person crew to the International Space Station, but about 20 seconds before scheduled liftoff, plans changed as an automatic safety system made the call to abort the launch. Director General of Roscosmos Yuri Borisov blamed the delay on a voltage drop in the craft's chemical power source. We have liftoff. But fear not, we fans of all things space for hope was not lost, as just two days later the mission picked up where it left off and the crew was on its way to space. On board Soyuz MS-25 were American Tracy Dyson, Belarusian Marina Vasilevskaya, and Russian Oleg Novitsky. All's well that ends well as the crew disembarked their capsule and boarded the ISS on March 25th. The trio will be on board for individual stays ranging from days to months. Meanwhile in Japan, the country's space agency and its prime contractor are looking to build momentum in the launch business following the successful test launch of their flagship H-3 rocket in February. Japan's space agency JAXA says it will offer an alternative to SpaceX while also serving national interests in addition to commercial launches. The H-3 rocket, manufactured by Japan and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, should cost roughly $33 million to launch, but Mitsubishi says that price tag should drop after about a dozen launches. Finally this week, a group of 7th grade students in Cleveland, Ohio, recently spent part of their days teaching 2nd graders about the upcoming solar eclipse. They built models showing how the moon blocks the sun's rays during the event, and while NASA encourages everyone to watch, the agency stresses safety first. Make sure you have the proper eye protection, like the eclipse glasses, and as you look at the heavens on April the 8th, when the eclipse starts, please, please put those glasses on. Sound advice for stargazers of any age. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.